Welcome friends, family, and loved ones. Today we are surrounded by the beauty of creation, natured by the sights and sounds of nature to celebrate this wedding for Nikita and Eric. You have traveled near and far to show your love and support for them. Let's please remember those that have passed, but they are not here around us, but the butterflies that surround us, the rays of sun shining through the treetops, you will see that they are with you always. Toba and Dave, as you walk the path today on uneven ground to, to bring the feet of here, the rocks, the bumps, the tree roots, you couldn't help but hold on a little bit tighter and reflect on Nikita's journey to this beautiful day, holding her a little tighter. At this time, it's okay to let her go because your love and support has made her into a strong, beautiful woman and you are gaining Eric and his beautiful family and becoming one. Yes, Eric? He's my best. Today we have come to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of an ordinary day and routine of life, something beautiful has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing it today with their wedding. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and it's their desire to love each other for life, and that is what we are celebrating here today. But today is also a celebration for the rest of us, for it is a pleasure for us to see love in bloom and to participate in the union of two people that are so delightfully suited to one another and watch them grow. Words of wisdom. A good marriage is created. It is not an um, option. It is never too old to hold hands. It is giving each other an atmosphere to which each can grow. It is not only important in marrying the right person, it's also very important being the right person. Nikita and Eric, I would ask you that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often what brought you here together today. Giving the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your memories deserve. When frustration and difficulty with any relationship comes, at one time or another, what seems to be the focus is the bad. Focus on the good. This way, when the clouds trouble hide the sun in your lives and you lose sight of it for just a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there and shining for you. And now Nikita and Eric will do their vows. <laughs> All those times you try to get me to notice you for nine months, I want you to know that I did notice you. First time seeing you that day, I told myself, <laughs> damn, she's way too material. <laughs> now look at us. From the first time we officially met, I couldn't see myself leaving your side. It was absolutely perfect. I never felt true love until that day. I wanted to take you everywhere and tell, you, tell everyone about you. From all our crazy adventures and crazy long nights, we made it here to today with two amazing dogs and a beautiful son, Landon. I promise to always take care of our family, to always protect and provide everything in my power for us. I promise to help you through every struggle and bad day you might ever have. I promise to be the best father I can be for our family. I also promise to overdraft the checking account, <laughs> to start watching Harry Potter and Supernatural. <laughs> I promise to not get mad when you accidentally turn off my Xbox. 
any of your bad days, your grumpy days, give me every day, and I will give you my love to make it right. You made me the man and the father I am today. Thank you for being my best friend, my wife. Woo! <laughs> My dearest Eric, there are not enough words to express the depth of my love for you, but I'm going to try, and I'll always try, for the rest of our lives and into the next. I promise that you will never doubt or question how unconditionally loved you are. I know many don't believe in love at first sight, but I know in my heart it's true. Because the moment I saw you, I knew you were my person, the one I was meant to share this life with. I have known since I first saw you that you are my one true love. And ever since that day, I knew I would never ever let you go. You are my best friend, and I don't say that lightly. I mean that you are my best friend and that I didn't know the beauty of life before I met you, and I didn't understand the meaning of life until I found you. You value every small moment, and you view life with a full, radiant, joyful heart that I love with every ounce of my being. You remind me of life's simple pleasures and everything effortless and good in the world. I will forever be in awe of all that you are, and I am so grateful for you and for every day of our lives. You are my calm, my safety, my happiness, and I promise you that I will always see the depths of me that you are. I promise to fiercely love you in all your forms, now and forever. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. I promise to help you love life, to hold you with tenderness, and to have the patience that loves in you. I promise to speak when words are needed and to share in the silence when they are not. To live in the warmth of your heart and always call it home. When I say I love you more, I don't mean that I love you more than you love me. I love you more than any of the bad days ahead of us. I love you more than any fight we will ever have. I love you more than any distance between us. I love you more than any obstacle that can come between us. I love you. <laughs> Can we have the rings? <laughs> you are the best. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. The ring is a symbol of unbroken circle of love. Love freely given, has no beginning, and it has no end. So Eric, if you can place the, thing, the ring on her finger. Eric, do you take Nikita to love her, honor her, cherish her, protect her, not make her hamburger sandwiches or spray her friends in the front yard with a hose, <laughs> forsaking all others. Nikita, do you take Eric to love him, honor him, cherish him, protect him, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? Kiss your bride. <laughs> Okay, I now introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Mastriano. <laughs> <laughs>